Okay, so with uh, rat urine, typically the contaminations are in the wood framing, uh, the insulation around the framing, and the plasterboard, fiberboard, cement board, whatever you call it, wherever you are based in the world. And um, those are the three areas to look for. Now, the first area, of course, is the wood framing, which is obvious. This shows a mild contamination, and there's also some um, rat poo there uh, that you can, you know, gives you a bit of an indication that the rats were been in this area. So, okay, next one. If you see a ceiling looking like this, uh, that is a serious contamination, which means that you will have lots of urine in the wood in the attic, which will need to be treated, and we'll talk you through how to do that um, in these slides following, so stay tuned. So step number one is when you get into the attic is uh, you're trying to identify the areas of contamination. Now, there's a few ways to do this. You can try back a black light. Um, this isn't the, probably the best um, way. It's, uh, I, I don't find it overly effective. Sometimes it works really well, other times it doesn't. The way that we do it is that we get a fine spray of our formulation. It's Formula 2, which you'll get in the members area. Uh, you can sign up at odadude.com, get free access to the members area. And um, in there, just spray that around and look for white foaming. So typically, when the product hits the urine, it will foam white as shown here. This is a mild contamination. As you can see, it's um, there's some foam in it. It's not heavy. But then you'd come back and actually treat that area and just look at how serious the foaming is. So you'd pour the chemical on and just wait. If it foams up considerably, you know there's a lot of urine there. If it foams as pictured, then there's not a, lot of, not a lot of urine there and you'll knock it off really, really easy. So step two is to look for contaminated insulation. Uh, don't bother trying to treat this, just cut it out and replace it at the end of the treatment. That's the easiest way and the cheapest way. Uh, step three is that you want to get the areas of wood that are uh, affected and saturate them with the Odor Dude formulation number two and leave for ten minutes. Okay. Now, uh, when you do this, you'll no you notice you get a lot of foaming and that is the product working. Okay. Step four repeat the process and look for white foaming. So if you repeat it and there's still lots of white foam, you know that the urine's in very, very deep because wood is absorbent. If the foaming is minimal, you know you've pretty much got it all. So it's really easy to sort of work out if you've um, you know, got it or not. Now rats typically nest in certain areas of the roof. They don't urinate everywhere. They do you know, are confined to areas, but you need to have a good look through and find exactly where it is, otherwise you're going to miss out. Step five, once um, if you've got uh, insulation that's contaminated, remove that, then check the ceiling surfaces of the plasterboard or cement board or fibre board, depending on what you call it, wherever you are in the world. Now this image here shows uh, contamination. You could spray the surface of that um, and just see how bad the foaming is. If there's lots of foaming there and the urine's deep into that plasterboard, it's easier just to replace it. Um, plasterboard is quite challenging to get the smell out of because it uh, you need to get the chemical in as far as the urine, and uh, if you don't achieve that, then it's difficult. Plus, plasterboard's not the most um, rugged sort of material. It doesn't like a lot of chemical being doused on it. But you know, you, you can get a good result and just work out how bad it is there. Typically, it's not too bad because the insulation absorbs a lot of it. That's step number five. Step number six, let the area dry. If the odour persists, go through and recheck because you would have missed something. Now there's lots more free information at theodordude.com. You can join for free there uh, on the membership site. Just put your name and email in and you'll get access inside the members area where there's every odour ever imaginable um, that tells you how to get rid of it. Okay, so that's Craig on behalf of Ken the Odour Dude. Hope you enjoyed that and we'll look forward to helping you again in the future. Cheers, bye.